So one of the issues with using trolling motors on most boats is that they're often 24 or 36 volt. That makes them more efficient, puts out more power. However, your boat system generally runs at 12 volt only. We're starting to see the inception of 48 volt stuff in big boats, but when it comes to trolling motors, everything is still 12 volt. That includes your alternator on your engine. So charging your 24 volt or 36 volt bank of batteries or single batteries often meant you needed to use uh, inefficient DC-DC chargers or dedicated 240 volt chargers when you got back home or back ashore. So there have been a few little things over in the years that have made it a little bit easier to charge your battery bank from your engine, such as the Andina combiner and your DC-DC 12 to 36 volt stuff. And they're all great, pros and cons. I wanted to show you something different. This is a step up converter that's rated to quite a high amount of amps. So what that allows you to do is have all your batteries at 12 volt, so they don't change. And they can be charged from your engine's alternator or whatever battery charging source you may have, solar power, whatever. Everything is kept at 12 volt. It then goes through uh, one of these little modules here, which converts 12 volt up to 36 volt in this case, and can provide up to 50 amps. So the question that I'm sure some of you are probably thinking of is, well, trolling motors can pull more than 50 amps, which is true. 36 volt, this Garmin force here will pull up to 54 amps. So when you start reaching those higher amps than what this is providing, you will drop in voltage, which means that very, very top end of your trolling motor's speed will be slightly less efficient than if you were running it on a standard 36 volt battery bank. But the draw card is that you'll be able to charge up your batteries quite efficiently through your engine alternator to make up for any loss of that efficiency. On top of that, you're only really using that very high percentage of thrust a minimal amount of time. So in Garmin, that's speed sort of 20 on the remote, you know, zero to 20. Um, at that full throttle, you're, you're really moving and only in the very largest of boats will it be used at that higher thrust levels uh, any more than a very few percent. So your vast majority of your trolling time is going to be way less than 50 amps worth of pull out of this module. So if you come on, I'll show you here what we actually got set up. So here I've got a Super 8 lithium battery. With the little onboard battery charge you can see we're down to 59% or 13.1 volts. We can double check a few things here. We've got some cabling going through a circuit breaker to the 12 volt side of our module. 12 volt being obviously heavier cabling. So if I take our multimeter here, we can have a look, we've got 13.2 volts on the meter, give or take. The smaller cabling, which runs to our trolling motor, is obviously going to be our higher current, in this case 36 volt. So we'll test that by putting our multimeter on the high side, and you can see we're at 36.1 volts. So this guy efficiently is converting 12 to 36, doing it with no heat. Now, admittedly, I'm not pulling any power. So over on our, uh, our trolling motor here, ignore the setup, but it does the job. You can see that if I turn the prop on down the bottom, change a few speeds. I'm in jog mode here, so just bear with me. You can see we're happy, happy you got enough power, no worries at all. I keep putting it in jog mode, sorry. And that will go on and on and on, up to speed 20. So that is the, I'll turn it down a bit, just so I don't turn it back on. So that is a way you can have So what does all that mean again? What it means is that in your boat, you can run one bank for your house bank of batteries. So instead of having a boat that has a start engine battery at 12 volts, a house bank at 12 volts, and then a completely separate bank up the front running at 36 volt, which only ever gets used for the trolling motor, uh, you can combine those two front ones into one, meaning that you have the benefit of utilizing all that extra stored power in that 36 volt system for other things you may have on board and increasingly we're seeing people put pie ovens and refrigeration systems and 
stereos, etc., on board. So you need that extra power. It also means that when you want to charge up that and use your trolley motor for a little bit longer, your engine alternator can put amps back in. It's not a solution for everybody, it's just a solution, relatively cost effective, um, not thousands and thousands of dollars, it's, it's more in the hundreds of dollars. But there you go, so this is a 50 amp 12 to 36 volt step up, tested here, and it will be installed shortly on a few boats so you can have a play. If you have any questions, hit us up on our Facebook, on our emails, and our website, you know where we are. Thanks for watching, we'll see you later, bye.